Good morning. My name is Domingas Assis. I am a computer engineer working for the telecommunication industry and I am here to present a consultancy project with the title Attractiveness Assessment for British Engineering Service since entry decision into the Angolan electricity se sector and strategy guideline. This is the, con the content that I will develop forward. The project follows a consultancy approach where the client is British Engineering Services and the, the objective is to provide a BES, an assessment of the, the, the Angola, attractiveness of Angola, in order to them to decide whether or not to enter in the Angola market and possible uh, uh, guidelines for a, a strategy. BES is a UK-based company working in the electricity industry. They are specialized in electrical engineering and they plan to base their business into developing economies. So Angola is an, an option. Angola is located in the Southwest African continent in, in the sub-Saharan uh, region. It was, the country was a Portuguese uh, colony until November 1975. After that, the, the country faced a civil war that ended in 2000, 2002. Luanda is the capital and is considered for the second successive year the most expensive city for expatriates to live. The country is member of one of the most important trade blocks bloc in Africa, the SADC. Now I'm going to talk about the pestle analysis, starting with the economic environment. Soon after the civil war, Angola was the fastest growing economy in the world, as shown here. And he's, the country is the, the, the third largest economy in Africa, sub-Sahara. The Angolan economic performance is as well demonstrated by the drop in inflation, which uh, was in uh, to, uh, to, uh, 1997 more than 500 and uh, uh, is uh, currently 7%. Seven, seven the the economic performance of the country is mainly driven by the oil, the oil industry. Angola is the second biggest crude oil pro producer in, in Africa and it is projected to become the first by 2020. Angola Apart from, diamond, apart from oil, diamonds are as well explored in the country and the country is rich in other, other minerals. In terms of political and legal environment, uh, probably the general law of electricity and the law of private investment are the, the, uh, uh, the government actions that influence the most the electricity sector because now because of these uh, uh, two actions the electricity sector will have will be private entities are allowed to enter into the sector a regulator was created and the sector is under restructure 
the law of private investment created the Angolan National Private Investment Agency, which is the national entities that coordinates and monitor all the private investment in, in the country. Now I'm going to describe the electricity uh, sector in Angola. The sector is under the responsibility of the Min Ministry of Energy and Water. And for this sector, the government has the, has the following main goals. To increase the power supply, to build a national grid and to have a, a connection with neighbor countries. Uh, to do so, the market is under restructure. This is the image of the new structure of the electricity sector. Before, there was one, uh, only one utility that was responsible for the three main activities uh, of the sector. Uh, with the transformation, the, the transformation program, there is uh, three utilities, each of one, each of one uh, dealing with only one activity of uh, the, the sector. Uh, Prodel is only dealing with the uh, production. RNT is dealing with the transmission and END is dealing with the distribu distribution and retail. The, the new firms that are going to enter the market are be uh, divided or, or will be placed placed in these uh, uh, main, three main uh, 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 activities there is no no uh, national grid because there, there there are isolated systems and uh, the government plans to uh, connect them in order to create a national grid. The system are mainly uh, uh, using uh, water to generate uh, uh, power. There are some thermal generators and uh, wind and biomass are starting to be used as well. Now I'm going to uh, present the attractiveness uh, assessment using the framework su suggested by Lasser 2012. Uh, Lasser says that uh, assessing the resources of the country is very important. In terms of hydroelectric uh, uh, resources, Angola has a potential that only four of this potential has been used so, so far. There are new dams under construction and the existing dams are, uh, are being upgraded. In terms of human resources, the measure of the population is at the working stage and the, the level of literacy is a, a, a challenge. So uh, as a result of uh, the low level of lit literacy, there is a scarcity of skilled labor in the country. In terms of uh, infrastructure, the main, the main uh, railways, roads are being uh, uh, re repaired or rebuilt after the, the, the civil war. Uh, the three lines in the map represent the most important uh, uh, railways of the, of the country. There is plan to build another uh, railway here to link the north and the south of the country. There is planned a new uh, international uh, airport. Ports are being upgraded and uh, uh, the capital will have a new po uh, port. With all this uh, uh, improvement in the infrastructure, the government aims to, 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 to turn Angola into a regional uh, hub. Now, uh, Porter's five forces analytical tool will be used to assess the industry, the uh, competitive climate of the electricity sector. Uh, entry barriers are high, mainly driven by governmental action. The price is fixed by the government. 
there are few few uh, 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 firms in the in the in the sector only one the instinct now with the restart of the, the 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 sector which is the utility uh, uh, owned uh, owned by the the government the firms that exist in the in the country are subcontracted of the state on uh, utility for engineering uh, services, so the re rivalry is is low. There is no trait of uh, of uh, substitute because the the solar energy would be probably a, a substitute, but the, there is no so significant investment for this for this source. But again, power of uh, uh, suppliers is uh, is high is high because uh, there is uh, labor labor force is care, and the government is the only entity giving access to the sources of energy the bargain power of buyer is is low because there is only one one utility so no no sh chance to su to switch uh, another important aspect for uh, att assess attractiveness of the country suggested by Lasser is the demand. The demand in Angola is, is, is growing. The population is growing. Uh, so with the population uh, growing, the, the government is investing in uh, housing construction uh, products. The, the health per head in Angola is increasing. So the uh, middle class is appearing with uh, with this appearance of uh, middle class su lasser suggests that there is an increase of uh, uh, on demand for durable gold, goods so increasing uh, um, the demand for durable goods is as well expected the demand for electricity to grow as, as well uh, as it is the power for some of uh, the uh, durable goods. Risks uh, needs to be considered as well in terms of uh, assessment, uh, attractive, attractiveness assessment of a country. Uh, Angola, as I said, the economic perf performance of the country is mainly driven by oil. So the main risk is that a drop of the oil price that is being uh, um, occurring right now compromises the the economic growth of the country uh, the country has stability now but there is uh, risks of uh, land land mine it is also a, a risk that uh, the uh, angolan uh, investment agency imposes that there the should be a local partner. Uh, there is as well a risk not to find a suitable partner. And uh, there are related um, reports of informal, informal costs and Angola scores high in the corruption, perceived co corruption uh, ranking. Based on 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 this uh, on Lasser framework and the risks, from the risks we can take the traits and the uh, weak, uh, weaknesses of the country, and uh, and from the previous uh, uh, analysis as well, we can uh, take the opportunities opportunities and the strengths, which is mainly a growing a growing demand, a lack of a national grid, a, a electricity sector is a priority for the government. So based on these opportunities and the uh, turnkey projects available, currently available in the market, we, well, may, we, it may well say that it is uh, using the Lasser's map for entry mode that a partnership uh, uh, type of entry is appropriate where uh, BES would, would have a quick access through the market and the local partner would bring uh, a contact that is really important in terms of getting winning contracts for a turnkey pro project. So, 
in conclusion, in conclusion, Angola has a positive economic uh, uh, performance, although there is risk. So, Angola is an attractive market and it is appropriate to entry, having a strategy as a base, a turnkey project contract with a local partner for quick entry market. Thank you very much.